The current iPhone 14 Pro already has a incredibly capable camera producing some stunning underwater videos. But the just announced iPhone 15 Pro comes with a couple of really cool extra camera features that could prove to be pretty beneficial for capturing your underwater adventures. Let's have a look at it. Welcome back to the channel guys, it's great to have you here for today's video. Like usually in September, Apple released their latest smartphone models, the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro during last week's Apple event. Let's have a first glance at the new camera features and see whether or not they will be beneficial for underwater photo and video. But before we start, let's take a moment to say thank you to our video sponsor of today's video, the incredible folks over at Divefork. Their C-Touch 4 Max underwater smartphone housing is currently the only housing on the market that really unleashes the full capabilities of literally any smartphone, not just iPhones, when you use those smartphones underwater. The one-of-a-kind membrane allowing you to use the touchscreen and therefore any function of your smartphone even while underwater is a real game changer and sets this smartphone housing apart from any other device on the market. Thank you Divefork for supporting this channel and also for offering a extra 6% discount to our audience on any purchase you guys make on the Divefork web shop using the link in the video description below. One of the main features that caught my eye during the presentation was the fact that you can now on the iPhone 15 Pro record in ProRes format in 4K up to 60 frames per second. Up until now it was only possible to record ProRes in 4K up to 30 frames a second. I found this to be actually a really good improvement until I found out that you will need to plug in an external SSD to access this feature. You will not be able to record 4K at 60 frames per second in ProRes recording mode directly onto the smartphone's hard drive. This procedure probably makes a lot of sense, especially considering the huge amount of data you will end up with if you decide to film in ProRes 4K at 60 frames per second. But at the same time, it means that we as underwater videographers are still stuck to the old ProRes 4K at 30 frames per second, simply because there is no way we can attach an external hard drive when filming underwater. None of the current underwater smartphone housings are capable of accepting such a connection. But who knows? this might change in the future. Let's talk about the new 5x telephoto lens built into the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I simply love the 3 times telephoto lens on my current iPhone 14 Pro Max and I'm really excited about this new feature. A 120mm focal length will make you capable of capturing some really cool macro shots. I see two issues that I can't judge right now with this new lens though. Stabilization and minimal focusing distance. Apple says they have improved stabilization substantially to help create steady shots even at 120mm. This is crucial in my opinion or will be stuck to be using this lens in combination with a tripod only. I'd rather not. And I couldn't really find any information on the minimal focusing distance of this new lens. Let's just hope it's not too much as it's really desirable to have rather less than more water in between your object and your lens. 
Unfortunately, this new feature is only going to be available in the Max version of the iPhone 15 Pro. Until now, if you wanted to record your iPhone videos in a log profile, giving you a flatter, more desaturated image and more room to manipulate that image in post-production, you would have had to use a third-party app, like for example Filmic Pro. This is no longer the case. With the iPhone 15 Pro, you can now natively record in a log format. For me personally, this is probably the biggest and most beneficial improvement over the iPhone 14 Pro and I can't wait to test it. A lot of people seem to be disregarding the new USB Type-C connection that the iPhone 15 Pro comes with. Now I personally think this is a great improvement, especially the USB Type-C 3 connection that is integrated in the iPhone 15 Pro Max models, which gives you a maximum transfer speed of up to 10 megabits a second. The process of transferring all your video data from your phone onto, for example, a MacBook at the end of the day is hopefully gonna work a lot easier and quicker that way. And we need to talk about spatial video. The iPhone 15 Pro will be capable of recording three-dimensional videos using the main and the wide cameras together. According to Apple, these videos will be watchable as three-dimensional videos using their Apple Vision Pro. This is a really interesting option and I think it will work as kind of a door opener for many creators out there to start experimenting with three-dimensional video. I mean, imagine you can produce three-dimensional videos underwater using nothing but your iPhone and the Dyfog housing. How cool is that? I can really see many applications where this technology will be useful in the diving industry. Summing up my thoughts, I am really excited about the iPhone 15 Pro Max and I've actually already ordered mine hoping that it will arrive in time for our upcoming group trip that I'm hosting together with James from Divers Ready and that will take us to the Philippines in about five weeks time. Well, Apple hasn't reinvented smartphone cameras with the updates of the iPhone 15 Pro, but they've certainly added some very interesting and cool features. And I'm really looking forward to testing particularly the new log recording format and the five times telephoto lens. And I can't wait to share my findings with you here on the channel. If you're not a subscriber of the channel yet, but don't wanna miss out on the reviews that will be published here in the upcoming weeks, make sure to hit that like button and the little notification bell right now. So how do you feel about the newly announced iPhone 15 Pro? Are you getting one yourself? Or do you have any other questions about it? Let me know down in the comment section below. Until next Tuesday, have a fantastic week guys and don't forget to capture all those amazing underwater adventures of yours. I'll see you in the next one.